Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matador and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your Bugatti Love Witcher inside your Grand Theft Auto V. So this is an add-on method, so I've been doing loads of videos on how to install add-on method um, vehicles, so you guys know how to install it, you guys got to know how to install it, so I don't need to explain it um, to you guys, so all you guys got to do is make sure you download all of the requirements that it's in my description below and make sure that the requirements is the latest version. Once you guys completed that, then download this mod. I will leave this mod in my description below. Once you guys have completed the process and installed all the requirements, let's get straight into it. Now all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location head to your mods folder your update folder your time 64 folder and your drc packs folder once you guys have completed that head to your bugatti extract folder wait for a few seconds exit out of that application drag it towards the side open up your add-on folder now inside your instructions folder now inside your instructions text file open up that file and then now copy where it says name the new folder okay guys copy this name over here blvn copy the name copy and then minimize your text file and then all you guys got to do is click on files and drag it into your DRC packs. Then now go back to your files folder and then right click and rename. And then just paste your name right there guys. And that's all you got to do. Make sure that there is a DRC.RPF file inside that folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click, refresh, exit out of your game folder. And then now, all you guys got to do next, okay, is go back to your text file. And then now find the DRC list right over here. Copy this, okay. Just copy this line. Exit out of your, uh, exit out of your extract folder. And now all you guys got to do next, okay, is go to your open IV. And then open up your open IV, go to Grand Theft Auto V, Windows. And then wait for a few seconds. It all depends on your PC performance. Once the application is open, go to edit mode, select yes. Then go to your mods folder, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, scroll right down the bottom. Until you see drclist.xml, hover over it, right click and edit. Then scroll right down the bottom and now click on the item word over here and press enter once and then paste your code right there. That's all you guys gotta do. Save your code, then go back to your drclist.xml file, double click to check to see if your code is in there, and yes it is. Now all you guys got to do is click on edit mode, click on GTA V, exit out of your open ivory, refresh your desktop and then I'll see you guys in the game. And we're back with Franklin guys, so what we're going to do okay, um, is that we are going to go and spawn the vehicle, but we are going to spawn the vehicle with our trainer V. So what we're going to do okay guys, is that we have cleared the road okay. So no cars cannot um, disturb us. All you guys got to do is press your F4 key and then go down to vehicle spawning and then go down to edit vehicle menu. 
And then there goes guys, Bugatti BLVN Super. And there goes your Bugatti. And see guys, this is an awesome car. I have already tested this car and it goes really, really fast. So yeah, it goes fast guys. So it might be a bit difficult to handle, but we are going to test it to see how fast it can go. So we're going to go to the airport and we're going to go and test this vehicle to see how fast this vehicle can actually go. We're going to bring up our our special mod too, which is this one over here. And we're going to turn it on so we can see how fast we are going. So, uh, where shall we start? Let's start right up top here. Let's start right over here. And now let's see how fast this vehicle can go. I like to test vehicles to see how fast they can go. Whoa, what was that explosion? I don't know, it's alright. So here we go guys. In five, four, three, two, one. And let's see. Two nine four two four two four two five. Two six seventy oh eighty. Oh, that's enough. Oh, Jesus. So, I ran about two hundred and eighty kilometers. Is it kilometers? Yeah, so two hundred and eighty. That's not bad after all. That is pretty good. I really like that, man. This is quite quite fast. So yeah, this is a quite uh, a fast sound um, vehicle. So if you guys are into fast vehicles, then this is a vehicle for you. It's quite fast. I really like it, okay? And it will go even faster if you use like boosts for mods. That plane is going a bit too fast. But yes, guys, I really like this mod. It's pretty awesome. I really like it. So guys, that is it for now. But I hope you guys do like this mod. But I recently... I've uh, been playing with this mod, but I really do like the vehicle. It's quite fast. I think it's faster than all the other cars that I have installed. But yes, guys, that is all we have. But if you guys are getting stuck with this mod, okay, then it's really easy to install the vehicle mod, especially when it's add on. So if you guys are stuck with this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. Don't forget guys to stay tuned for more GTA V PC modern tutorials. So with that all said guys, if you guys do like this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching guys, peace and I'm out.